A really interesting study in acute pain management in kids just got published today, done by researchers out of London, Ontario. They did what's called a head-to-head -head trial, which is when you have two interventions, you know both of them are better than placebo, but you don't know how they stack up against each other. So they took 134 kids from ages 5 to 17 who had fractures that did not require surgery, so fractures that only required casting or splinting. And they randomized them to either ibuprofen or morphine and sent them home. And the medication was given by the emergency room in a form that was similar, so there'd be no way to tell the difference. And families were advised to use Tylenol if there was breakthrough pain. What they found was that in terms of pain management, the two medications were equivalent. What was interesting, though, was in terms of side effects. The morphine patients reported more nausea, more vomiting, more drowsiness, and more dizziness. So with, despite the equal management of pain, even though you might think that a strong opioid narcotic like morphine would do better, they were actually equivalent. And in terms of side effects, the morphine was quite a bit worse. So this will probably lead to practice changes for acute pain in kids where we now know with confidence that at least for fractures that don't require surgery, ibuprofen is just as effective and it's a safer choice.